That's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, so Goku! Two rings on, two chains on. Wait, do I say two rings on, two chains on, three diamond bracelets don't get flamed on? I got, I got two, two rings, rings on, on. Uh -huh. two, two chains, chains on. on. I think he did say that. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Saying Trey once again. I know it look like I'm sweating. I ain't really sweating, though. It ain't hot. I did put on some some Vaseline, some petroleum jelly, so I just look a little moist. You feel a little moist. I got a question for y'all. This is going to be somewhat of a mukbang. I can't really show y'all because I'm using my, my job little shit to hold the camera. I ain't going to show y'all the whole meal. I'm going to just tell y'all what I got, tell y'all the topic that I want to speak on this show. We're going to get into it. I got Wendy's, man. I got me a 10-piece spicy. I used to work at Wendy's, and I didn't really eat the nuggets like that. While I was there, I was really eating, like, Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers and Baconator Fries. I also got a Baconator Fry. You can't can't go wrong with a Baconator Fry. And they lemonade sweet as fuck, but it's really good. What I want to get into is... Actually, no, I want to talk about this food. Ghost Pepper Ranch, bro. That shit good at Wendy's. I don't know about anybody else Ghost Pepper Ranch, but that shit hit. The whole time I was working at Wendy's, I was sleep on this. Bro, that shit hit every time. <coughs> Damn. My question is, how do you get over a female that you've been with for over a year? Mind you, she's showing you that y'all not going to work out. You know, you try everything in your power. You try to get them to see the wrong in their actions and they just continue to disrespect you continue to show you that they not riding for you or how you riding for them and then she would get mad and play stupid i don't want to get into it fully but pretty much she didn't take accountability for her actions kind of pushed me away the whole time i didn't feel like i was even appreciated at all or cared for that shit pushed me away but I didn't want to see her with somebody else. You feel me? Like, I move on, or if I be like, fuck you, I'm over you for sure, like, for good. There was so many times when we got mad at each other, and both decided, like, all right, fuck you, and then, shit, the next day, we in the bed fucking type shit. So, you know, on and off, I hate you, back with each other, you know how it be, the toxic shit. Never thought I'd be in a toxic relationship. I don't feel like that's my fault. I don't feel like I'm the one being toxic. I just got abandonment issues and I can't let motherfuckers go. Usually, it, it, the, my relationships end with me putting up with bullshit and then telling the other motherfucker about they self because I got to speak up on it, you feel me? And then basically, they get tired of not getting away with they bullshit and they give up on me, which is so unfair. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. That's fucked up. But basically, when you with somebody taking no accountability, that shit, that, that shit could be so frustrating. Like, you don't take no accountability. You see no wrong in your actions. Or oh, I point some shit out, you get mad at me. It's just like, bro, what's like, what's wrong with you? Do bullshit and then they can't see the problem with it. But then it's like, okay, if the roles was reversed, you would be mad as fuck. I'm not going to get into it. Like I said, I'm going way too deep into the problems. How do you get over a motherfucker? When you've been with them for over a year, y'all done had sex and you done met their family and you done spent all this time with them and been through so much with them and let them know all type of shit about you and vice versa and it's like damn how do you just end the relationship like some motherfuckers be out here getting married and, and be having two three four failed marriages like how do you do that like you put a ring on a motherfucker finger just for that shit to end up not working out obviously like y'all could have been five years strong but damn how do you accept another nigga fucking your girl bro this, this shit daily combo how do you get over knowing somebody else gonna be fucking your girl or your used to be girl and that shit happen way quicker than motherfuckers think motherfuckers think a girl gonna be stressed over you or sad about you no bro a girl will replace you quick as fuck nigga in three weeks and that's way too much time really that's hella time but y'all could be together for a long time before a month passed, she will be laid up with another nigga. Not in a talking stage with another nigga after a month, which you would think. Them motherfuckers probably start their talking stage two weeks after y'all broke up. Especially a narcissist. If you date a narcissist, they gonna replace you easily. They, not, they ain't thinking about your ass, bro. That's fucked up. And it's not even like you the motherfucker that got tired of them and moved on. They was doing the bullshit, didn't fight for the relationship 
only to go to the next person. But then that tell you everything you need to know. You wasn't worth fighting for, and you was replaceable in their eyes. And that's tough. Y'all was together for this long, been through all this. Deep ass connection, stop talking. Only for another nigga to be in her guts, bro. Oh. That's crazy. Another nigga get to see her naked. Another nigga get to put his... My question to y'all is, how do you accept it, bro? Some of us be like, oh, fuck that bitch. I don't get no fuck. No, nigga, I care, bro. I can't move on. I be scared thinking another nigga gonna replace me, bro. If I say fuck you for good, you're gonna replace me eventually. And probably quick as fuck. And that sound like a simple ass move, cause it's like, damn, you scared of getting replaced, so you gonna put up with more bullshit that you need to be putting up with? Yes. I got abandonment issues, man. I could attach to somebody we for life. Them motherfuckers just do you dirty, and then you feel me, no effort to fix it. Then it's like, damn, I don't want us to break up. Even though you the one that did wrong, then I found myself fixing it on your behalf. Boy, I've been a dumbass motherfucker for love, bro. Like, girl, I didn't lick your ass, but for like, you feel me? Another nigga getting to do that or even lay down with you or lay up with you or watch movies or even feel on you, that shit hurt. Like, damn, bro, that was my place. Or another nigga seeing you naked. I feel like I got so much to offer. And I feel like I ain't the only one, obviously. And I feel like, hey, if she was to meet another guy like me, another ambitious person that don't gangbang, that's genuine, maybe y'all be okay with it, you feel me? But it's like, you're gonna give your body to some goofy ass nigga. That's my feel for real. Like, I feel like I was a good guy, but I know that the next motherfucker you replace me with is gonna be a downgrade. That motherfucker don't deserve to be fucking you, bro. He don't deserve it. This gang banging that, but hey, some females like that shit, bro. Maybe that's why shit went this way. Hey, you a good guy and shit, you ain't what she looking for, so she don't know how to appreciate you. You see how I'm telling myself this shit? Clearly, I'm here, I'm here asking y'all, but if I'm being honest, I know all the answers. This is the Baconator Fry. This shit, with the bacon and the right amount of cheese, like, why do you want to be a life lesson? Why do you want that to be all that you are, bro? That shit good as hell. See y'all in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Peace. What's up, y'all? This is the very next day. My update is, fuck that girl. Fuck her. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it.